Hey guys, it's Kaido here, and today I want to talk about something really interesting that keeps coming up in my chime matches. It's people in high chime around 1600 elo using weapons like the champion sword. Now, the champion sword, by if you check the stats, it doesn't have a faster swing speed than like the Forgotten Gladius, for example, so it's not for that. Its damage isn't all too crazy, so I was really puzzled on why people were using this until I actually looked into it and I realized like, a crazy reason to why this weapon is super super underrated. The Champion Sword has a 40 medium requirement, allowing you to save up to 60 points for your build. Those precious 60 points could be used literally anywhere else in your build. And you'd think the damage of the sword would be lacking because you're only going 40 medium, however that isn't the case. As you can see in the clip here, the guy is still doing crazy damage to me. And now if we put the 40 points to build maker, we can see with speed demon, we're still doing around 31 damage per hit. And this can go even higher with damage multipliers obviously. To compare those stats to something like the Forgotten Gladius, where for 100 points invested plus speed demon, you're only getting around 35.7. So for going the champion sword and using only 40 medium, you're getting like what? Losing it on 4 damage for around 60 points that you could put any anywhere else in your build. So I'd say this weapon is really, really good. And Champion Sword isn't the only weapon that you can use that has 40 medium requirement. As there's weapons like the Akron Wall Spit which have a low medium requirement and still do decent damage. Even though the damage on like these weapons are still quite decent, you don't want to go into an enchant that gives you more damage because it'll just be a diminishing return. There's no point in doing that. So stay away from enchants like the third detonation, all the extra damage ones. Instead, you want to go for more utility based enchants. Enchants like Providence Thorns for, for punishing your opponent for parrying them. Uh, metal for stripping their armor and like chilling with um, the crystal path all those utility based enchants that help you passively in your fight those are all really good with these weapons and the synergies are amazing now to go into some of the builds you can make with this weapon because it lets you save so many points you can easily make like dual human builds I know fire and ice is a very good synergy and running chilling on the champion sword you're able to save so many points and, and set up crystals for your fire mantras um, metal enchant with the gold path for iron sing that's a very good synergy it was to strip armor of your mantras and your weapon letting you do a lot of damage and obviously any achievement really just to save points and get um, different cards like maybe um, prediction on your build or reinforced armor and just saving those points and running something like providence thorns just for a little bit extra damage from parrying um, stuff like that there's just so many possibilities those are just some of my ideas but yeah do with this information what you will and have fun making great builds everyone if you're still here by the end of the video uh, make sure you subscribe join my discord come chat to me and leave a comment with that said have a good day everyone